This video will show you some basic concepts when working with images in Composica. Right now we're looking at a document page that doesn't have any image on it. So if we want to add an image, we'll go ahead and click the Media button, which will open up our Media Explorer window. Then we'll go ahead and open up our Images folder. Right now we don't have any loaded, so we can go ahead and click Upload. And then go to the location where your images are stored. In this particular example, we have it in this folder, and we have several images. Now, we can select all of them at the same time if we want, but right now maybe we'll want to go ahead and select this image and maybe this image here. So you hold down your Shift key, select one, and then select the other one, and then click Open. And they load into the Media Explorer, and then you can go ahead and select the image you want to load onto your page. So, for example, maybe we'll start with this one here. You'll see a preview of, of it in the panel over here. And then you can go ahead and click either Apply, or you can go back over here and double click it to add it to the page. Then you can move the image along the page wherever you need it. Of course, you can also go ahead while you're selecting it, resizing it as needed by grabbing one of the grab handles. You can size it down, size it up, and if you'll notice over here in the Layout tab, as we select the image, we have our width, height, our positioning here, so you can go ahead if you want to and you can resize it this way and you notice over on the left side in the Properties pane how the numbers change, or if you need exact dimensions, you can come over here and maybe we want to go ahead and set this to 150 by something like that, and you can also set the image size that way. So that's one way of working with your images and how to insert them through the Media Explorer. Another thing you may want to do as you're updating your document pages is perhaps change out images but keep the same size. This is easily done. Select the image that is already on the document page, then go over to the Settings tab, and you'll notice the source is the image that we have selected. We simply click here, and here's an easy way to do this. We'll go ahead and we're going to bypass the Media Explorer this time and we're simply going to click Upload. And we're going to go to the folder that has the image that we want. So we'll go ahead back here and here's our folder again. And maybe this time we want to go ahead and select this image. We'll click Open. And when prompted, if we want to resize the image to its actual size, we can click yes, but we want it to stay the same as the image already on the page, so we'll select no. And that image will be the exact same size as the image that was previously on the page. And of course you can resize it as needed. A few other things that you can do while working with images, you'll notice that this one doesn't have any borders around it. So perhaps we want to go ahead and add a border, and this again is easily done. Come over to the Properties pane, click the Layout tab, and then we'll go ahead and go down our options here, and you'll notice, for example, we have borders. So we can go ahead and click, maybe we want a dotted border, and maybe we want to change its size to be one point, maybe we want to change the color of it. And for more definition, maybe we'll take it up a couple points here, and so on. And then I'm just going to click off. And there you go. Those are some basic techniques for working with images on your Composica document page. If you have any question on this particular topic or any others while working with Carbon's products, please visit us online at www.carbon.com. Thanks for stopping by.